Why isn't anyone talking about male infertility? Hi, I'm Dr. Pratibha, Senior Fertility Specialist, Laparoscopic Surgeon and Gynecologist at Chanya Fertility, HSR Layout. We test her every month. Blood work, ultrasounds, hormones. But when do we test him? Why is the pressure always on the woman? Why do we assume it's only her body that's the problem? Male infertility contributes to nearly 50% of all cases. But men are often the last to get tested. By then months, sometimes years have passed. She goes through so much. Every month is a roller coaster. Hope, heartbreak, tests and more tests. And of course, more medicines. And all the while, he's rarely even checked. Not out of neglect, but because no one talks about it. A simple semen analysis could offer answers. It's quick, it's uninvasive, gives us information about the sperm count, the motility, as well as the sperm's shape, which is the morphology. The DNA quality or the DNA fragmentation index, which affects the embryo quality, can also be assessed, even if the numbers look normal. A high DNA fragmentation leads to miscarriages and embryo implantation failure. And yes, lifestyle matters too. Smoking, alcohol intake, obesity, hot baths, and yes, even stress can hurt the sperm health. These are things we can control, but only if we know. This is not just her journey, it's your journey. It takes two to make a baby. It takes two to find the answers. So why are we only testing one? Infertility isn't a woman's issue. It's a couple's issue. Let's stop making her carry it alone. Let's normalize male fertility testing because love, pain and hope, they are shared and the answer should be too.